Good morning. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I am an author and addiction recovery coach, a life coach, and the host of this show, Take Your Life Back Today radio show. You can see a video version of this if you go to YouTube under channel Take Your Life Back Today show. We're under God's beautiful dark skies this morning, but yet today is a day to get your hopes up. Whenever I hear someone say, well, I hope it happens, I wonder if they realize the power of hope. What are you hoping for right now, this early morning, 3 o'clock in the morning, perhaps for a better marriage, maybe a job promotion, or maybe that uh, uh, you'll have a child? Is it a vague hope? Hope is far more than just a wish. The Apostle Paul says that hope comes from heaven that is eternal in 1 Corinthians 13, 13, friends. When God spoke to the promise to Abram, Abraham uh, that he and Sarah would have a son, it birthed hope in their heart. But Sarah was the, uh, far past the age of conceiving a child, and the promise seemed an impossibility. So what did God do? Well, in Genesis 15, 5, it says, Then he brought him outside and said, Look now toward heaven and count the stars if you are able to number them. And he said to him, So shall your descendants be. God gave Abraham a beautiful vision as an anchor for his hope. How many times did Abraham try to count the stars and use them to hold on to this hope in the years that followed? And friends, the Bible says that Abraham did not doubt or waver in unbelief. In unbelief concerning the promise of God, but he grew strong and empowered by faith. In Romans 4.20, he could hope on against the impossible because he kept his eyes fixed on the Almighty God, and that hope fueled his faith to the point where Sarah had the strength to conceive Isaac. God wants you to get your hopes up this early, early, early morning and throughout the day and the rest of your life. If God has spoken a promise to you this morning, if you found a promise in his word that you believe God has given you, I encourage you to put hope in front of that promise. God created this hope inside you, and he doesn't want you to, to be vague about it. Hope creates vision. Hope gives your faith something to anchor itself to, something to go after. For Abraham, it was the stars. You need a picture of what you're going after to keep that promise alive in your heart, to create a vision so that you can make it through the difficult times each and every day. In Paul's prayer in Romans 15, he said this, Now may the God of hope fill with all joy and peace in believing, that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Paul was saying, take your eyes off your own limitations and focus on God of all hope, because he's the one who's going to bring it to pass in his timing and his way. God is faithful, my friends. But it's up to you and me to develop this hope that fuels our faith. Friends, keep your hopes up because hope is from heaven. And start today. Call me at 844-405-HELP. Together we can help each other take our lives back. Be good to yourselves and always be good to each other. Remember, a simple smile to a stranger can change that stranger's day, their life, and can change your life. It is early, 3, uh, 3.10 in the morning here down in Wilsons, Virginia. And God hasn't turned the light on, but the light shines in my heart, and the light should shine in your heart for the Lord Jesus Christ. Because God truly loves you, and he gave his only son for you. And that, my friends, is sacrifice, because he loves you that much. Start today believing. Start today letting